What's up, my beautiful bros? Beauty Maniac here with November 28th NBA game picks and predictions. And we do this every day because you know we do it good and we do it well. Did kind of bumble up a little bit yesterday, but we're going to bounce back in a big way. We actually got a good double header on two different channels. Got to look forward to some of these matchups. We got the 10 and 9 Miami Heat. Very surprising. Going to the Cavaliers, 13 and 7. They're turning around Cleveland's favorite by 4. This game's going to be aired on NBA TV at 7 p.m. Eastern. 4 p.m. Pacific. I'm taking the Cavs to win and cover the four-point spread in this one. Then we have the Suns at the Bulls. This is going to be a close game. I like... You know what? I'm going to change my mind. I was going to pick the Suns here. I like what the Suns are doing this year. i got to give them a lot of credit. I love what Booker has been doing throughout his career. It's only been a few years, but this kid's showing some serious promise. But I'm going to pick the Bulls in the upset. And as for reasoning... I don't really have any. I just feel like the Bulls will play better at home. I like, and can I can't even pronounce his name. I just I feel something about the Bulls. I'm probably gonna get this wrong, but you know, you gotta go with your gut. Then we have Wizards Timberwolves. Timberwolves are favored by five. I'm gonna pick the Timberwolves at home here to cover, as well. Without John Wall, I don't think the Wizards stand a chance. This next one's tough. We have the Nuggets. Who are eleven and eight? Jazz who are nine and eleven. Jazz are without Gobert. Nuggets are without uh, Millsap, who I believe is out for the rest of the year or close to it. Utah's favored by two here, but I believe without Gobert, uh, the Nuggets will overwork them, and I think the Nuggets are going to win this one in the so-called upset. They are two and a half games ahead of the Jazz. Then we have the Bucks Kings. Bucks are favored by five and a half on the road here. The Kings are disappointing, to say the least, when your leading scorer is averaging about 13.4 points. I don't feel safe in picking you at any game. They did beat the Golden State Warriors recently, but that was without Steph Curry and Raymond Green, or Steph Curry and Kevin Durant. So, I'm not sure if I can give them too much credit for that. I don't think they have any good defensive matchups for Giannis Antetokounmpo, unless they put Rudolph on Antetokounmpo, but then that just opens up Bledsoe even more. To cut the force himself in the paint. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.